The first story this hour takes us to Saudi Arabia, where at least 62 people have lost their lives in a crane collapse inside of the Grand Mosque in the holy city of Mecca. Saudi civil defense authorities have confirmed that at least 30 others have been wounded in the deadly incident. Witnesses say dozens of ambulances have arrived on the scene to remove the injured. There have been a number of construction projects in the holy city of Mecca over the past few years. They are aimed at enlarging the Grand Mosque and its surrounding courtyards. The accident happened at a time when hundreds of thousands of Muslim pilgrims are flocking to the holy city to perform the annual Hajj pilgrimage. Going to cross over to Washington, D.C., joined by the director of IGA, Mr. Ali Al Ahmad. Thank you so much for being with us. A, a terrible situation taking place on the ground in Mecca. Uh, it also, though, is ironic. On the one hand, we have Saudi Arabia, of course, we're the home of the most important sites for Muslims, Mecca and Medina. On the other hand, we have simultaneously the Saudis actually uh, involved in a terrible war uh, against Yemenis. On the one hand, we see with this uh, crane collapse that perhaps, because uh, it's not the first time that we've seen this situation in Saudi Arabia during the Hajj season, that some structural problems have taken place. This time, a, a crane falling inside of the Grand, uh, Grand Mosque, it almost appears as if the Saudis are not prepared uh, to host this type of event. And of course, the majority of people still haven't arrived. Uh, tell me your take on this situation, sir? Uh, the Saudi failure, what I call the Saudi failure, to uh, organize the Hajj is nothing new. In the past 30 years, at between seven and 10,000 pilgrims uh, have died in accidents. The largest number was during uh, uh, in Al Mu'aysim. Uh, uh, a tunnel which killed 3,000 uh, pilgrims because of the uh, uh, of the ventilation issue caused by stampede that caused the stampede uh, by a Saudi prince. So uh, you have terrible numbers in terms of the accidents of the people dying almost uh, on an annual basis, and that shows that the Saudis really have not learned from their mistakes and they refuse to adopt new tactics and bring in a, a Muslim talent at least. Uh, we wrote, I wrote a, a, an article uh, nine years ago uh, about this issue specifically saying that there is sufficient Muslim talent that can help organize this and make these things safer for everybody and it will make the Saudis even look better. Uh, however, because of the lack of respect of the Saudi failure uh, due to the massive corruption of the Saudi monarchy and its uh, uh, government, we see these incidents happening again and it will continue to happen, unfortunately. Well, you mentioned a couple of points about the corruption because I wanted to talk about the financial aspect to this because surely it cannot be a financial issue that's causing all of these accidents. On the one hand, um, we know the masses, massive amount of money that the Saudis waste every day, whether it's their entourages going here and there or just the money that they have spread out all over the world, mostly in non-Muslim countries and also the wars that they are funding. So is it just basically a lack of caring uh, about trying to do this right for the Muslim Ummah? Because we know the Muslims come not only to do their Hajj, but spend lots of money when they're actually there. What do you see the majority, the main problem of this situation being the root of it? The root of it is, uh, like I said, corruption. Uh, these contracts are given to specific uh, contractors who are uh, working or owned by the Saudi monarchy uh, and its uh, people. Uh, so, and they lack uh, supervision, uh, necessary supervision. You note it. You note. Uh, look at the videos of the after the, uh, the the collapse of the crane. You notice that there was not a single medic there. It took uh, an hour for medics to arrive. Imagine this is a place where thousands and tens of thousands of people are uh, are congregating uh, uh, daily, yet there is not uh, a, a, an emergency service to respond to uh, accidents in a very uh, heavily constructed uh, area. There is a lot of uh, moving parts, yet uh, the necessary step, the safety steps have not been taken. and that 
again is due to the corruption and lack of care and respect to the uh, to the holy places and to uh, the pilgrims who come from around the world to to worship and perform their uh, their religious duties. Do you think this time around that Muslims themselves are going to uh, demand uh, that the Saudis, uh, as far as give an answer for their incompetency, or is it that we see many Muslims just because actually it is Saudi Arabia and Mecca and Medina happens to be in Saudi Arabia that they feel that they don't even have the right to question the Saudi regime? I think there is a lot of fear and unnecessary fear that we cannot criticize the Saudi government. The Saudi government is like just any other government, uh, yet it, it really has one of the worst corruption uh, indicators or indexes around the world. And uh, I think Muslims should speak out. After all, if they don't speak out regarding the, the, the holiest uh, places in their religion, uh, I think uh, they, they should uh, rethink uh, their uh, own belief. It is an opportunity for the Muslims to speak out and to force the Saudi government to take all the precautions and bring in Muslim talent. We, around the, the world, Muslim engineers uh, can help uh, make this uh, process, uh, the construction and safety, much better. And uh, it is not wrong even to ask and request uh, uh, companies like Disney and others who have experience in uh, 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 organizing uh, mass uh, events. So really we need all the help to, to ensure the safety of these pilgrims. Thank you so much for being with us. Of course, that story dealing with the uh, breaking news of a crane collapse in the Grand Mosque in the Holy City of Mecca. At least 62 people have been killed, at least 80 injured. And of course, we will bring you more on that as we get it in. Thank you so much for being with us, Mr. Ali Al Ahmad, uh, out of Washington, D.C., director of IGA.